Hola familia, I'm the Spanish chef Omar Rally Boy and today I want to show you how to cook a really special dish. It's called Corderito Asado con Patatas Panadera or slow roasted milk fed lamb with roasted potatoes and as well I'm going to be cooking it on the wood fire oven to make it extra special. And why this dish is a bit of a treat to us in Spain? Actually, it's not a bit of a treat, I've just downgraded it. It's an absolute legend of a dish. So many reasons. One, we eat a lot of it in Christmas, so that makes it extra special. It's expensive, you know, milk fed lamb is definitely probably about twice the price that normal uh, more aged uh, lamb, which actually if you are outside of Spain, it becomes quite hard to find. You can pre-order it with your butcher, but certainly he will not have it there in the display. So makes it again uh, something worth fighting for. And as well, because it's a dish very traditional from Burgos and the Castilla region of Spain, sort of the center of, of Spain, where we have the asadores. It's a style of restaurant where we bake and slow cooked over there with a wood fire. Uh, these types of cuts, as well as big steaks, or the other dishes such as the cochinillo asado, which is the suckling pig. But you will see that other than finding the ingredients to make it, it has very few of them and it's really easy to cook. I am doing it on the wood fire oven because I like to make my life a lot more complicated. But cooking it in the oven at home, it's so, so easy. But don't let me keep you, so let me run you through the ingredients. We're going to need potatoes, water, white wine, salt, pepper, extra virgin olive oil, fresh thyme, bay leaf, garlic, Spanish onion, and a leg of milk-fed lamb. We're going to start by placing the leg of lamb, a bay leaf and a little bit of water in a clay pot or a roasting tray. I'm using a clay pot because that's what traditionally is used to make this dish. And we're going to place it in the oven at 140 degrees for an hour and a half. Peel and slice your potatoes and onions into about half a centimeter thick slices. Lift off your lamb into a plate and add the potatoes, the onions, some unpeeled garlic cloves, salt and pepper, a good drizzle of extra virgin olive oil and a glass of white wine. Give it all a good stir, uh, place the lamb back on top and continue to cook it for a further hour. I started cooking this dish too late on the day so I had to switch it into my home oven because I just quite simply couldn't see what I was doing. So now all we have to do is Remove the leg of lamb and place it on a plate. Steer through the potatoes some of that lovely sprigs of fresh thyme. Turn the side of the lamb leg, put it back in the oven for that last hour of slow cooking. I have no words. I mean, this is kind of the ultimate dish. I'm sure this is the last dish of many people. What a pretty picture, my lord. Still sizzling in the terracotta, the smokiness that it had acquired from before. And uh, just beautiful golden potatoes. I mean, take a look at this. Traditionally, in a restaurant, when you are served the whole milk fed lamb, as a proof to show you how tender it was, and tender it is actually, they would just take a plate and sort of cut it with the edge of the plate, which is very blunt and thick, but just so that you can see that it really falls apart. I don't think there is a need of that in here, nor there is a need of plating it up in a plate. I think it just looks absolutely stunning, as rustic as it does. All it needs is a good glass of red wine and let me just break a little bit so that you can see that it does fall apart. I mean, oof, there you go. Just with a little bit of a strength. Let me have a small little bite. It's really, really hot. But anyway, I'll do it for you. Mmm. 
a butter, literally, that's what it is. Butter of lamb. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember, if you want it for lunch, you have to start at 10 a.m. the latest, as it will take a good three and a half to four hours to cook it that slow and to look so magnificent. But I hope you find it in your local butcher and, um, and that you try one of the most legendary dishes of Spanish gastronomy. Thank you all for watching and um, see you again soon. Hasta la vista and salud. If you enjoy the video, please like it, share it and subscribe.